All right, well, one of the congressmen who Ooh. questioned Christopher <laughs> Ray today is Tom McClintock, right. Republican from California and a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, congressman, thank you for joining us here on the Hill. Uh, that hearing happened. I wonder what's next. Here's what one of your colleagues said, uh, Lauren Boebert. She tweeted out, quote, the next congressional hearing that Christopher Ray should take part in should be his impeachment. Are you for that, Congressman? No, I, I think that's a lot of very loose talk. I, I was generally disappointed with uh, Mr. Ray's uh, presentation. Uh, he at least, I think, should have acknowledged that many millions of Americans are deeply concerned over perceived double standard in the way the laws are being applied. I mean, just compare uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, who had no declassification authority, uh, uh, stored uh, tens of thousands of uh, documents on a household server with, with uh, uh, less security than your average Gmail account. Uh, compare that to the way President Trump has been treated, who had absolute declassification authority as President of the United States. Uh, the lack of uh, interest uh, in pursuing uh, what is clearly authentic information uh, on the Hunter uh, Biden laptop that implicates the president in a very uh, uh, elaborate and uh, lengthy uh, bribery, family bribery scheme that goes back many years. Uh, uh, the lack of interest you know, in pursuing that. He doesn't necessarily have to agree with those criticisms, but I think he at least needed to acknowledge them and say, we're sensitive to this. We know, so if you're, like if Caesar's you're, wife, we have to be above reproach. If you're not, if you're not for impeachment, there's others in your party uh, who've talked about firing the FBI director if they become president in January 2025. Does that go beyond for you as well? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think that uh, Mr. Ray, at least based on the presentation we saw today and the conduct of, uh, of, of his uh, time as director of the FBI, uh, would argue that he, he should continue in that post. We're going to need somebody who can restore confidence. Let me tell you, I was, I was raised to revere the FBI. I remember the, the old TV series, and Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. was the, was the, 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 the very uh, face of propriety, straight arrow law uh, and order, um, uh, somebody to be respected. And I've, I've lost that respect watching the double standard unfold in recent years during Mr. Ray's tenure and his two predecessors. You, know, you talk uh, about you talk and, about and the, the double, collusion. You talk about the double standard, and, and, and uh, the Congressman, we and, we, and we have. Yeah, and, and we've heard this from Republicans say that there is a two-tier justice system. But one of your colleagues on the other side of the aisle today, Congressman Ted Lieu, went right at that. For example, he talked about many individuals in Donald Trump's orbit who were prosecuted by individuals who were put into their post by Donald Trump. Watch. Which president nominated Bill Barr for attorney general? Uh, president Trump. Which president appointed Matthew Whitaker as acting attorney general? Uh, president Trump. Okay. Which president nominated Jeff Sessions for attorney general? President Trump. Okay. Which president nominated you? President Trump. Okay. When you watch that and you hear that, how do you make the argument that there's a two-tiered system? Well, I think that begs the question. If you look at, for example, the um, uh, a composition of the uh, FBI, the elements in the FBI that uh, uh, took the uh, Russian collusion hoax that we now know at the time they knew was phony, that was concocted by the Clinton uh, campaign to distract attention from her legal problems. Uh, uh, they fanned that. They colluded with, um, with uh, uh, Democratic operatives uh, to, to not only use that to try to influence the 2016 willing to do that, then to undermine the legitimately elected president of the United States, not to mention the collusion that was going on between elements in the FBI uh, and, the, um, of, uh, and the social media platforms, uh, where they were literally directing those social media platforms to remove material that they, including the New York Post series on the Hunter uh, Biden laptop. So again, there is a, a culture in that agency uh, that is deeply, deeply concerning. Uh, you know, Lord Acton, I think, had it right when he said that power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. By the way, uh, Christopher Ray saying today the FBI's focus, quote, is not on disinformation, broadly speaking, talking about the social media companies. There was a lot of talk up there on the Hill today about that. We have to no, leave but, it but here. That's uh, exactly, yeah, th that's exactly what they were doing, though. That's exactly what they were doing. It, Matt, Matt Taibbi just yesterday uh, in, in his uh, latest Real quick. reporting pointed out how they were literally directing 
these, uh, these agencies like Twitter to take down uh, uh, posts. And when they didn't take them down fast enough, they came back and said, what are you doing? We told you to take this down. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.